Hey guys, and welcome to Gun Safety with Sam Ghost 101. The first rule of gun safety is, whenever you have a gun, that it's just assume that it's always loaded, unless you know it's not loaded. As you can see, there's already a bullet in there in the chamber. So if I fire it, a bullet comes out. Now, if I remove the clip, and as you can see, it's still fully loaded, but as you can see, there's, it's still up, like it's still in. That means there's still a bullet in the chamber. Until we fire this bullet is when the chamber goes back. So that means the gun's out. As you can hear, there's a click now. So that means this gun is not loaded anymore. So we're, what you're going to do is grab another clip, insert it, but you see it's not shooting. And by the way, this applies in real life guns too. So in real life, you could either pull that down there or you could pull it back on the top. I recommend doing it like this in the game because it's way faster. But you could also get a bullet out like that just to get it out. And to add some style into it like this. Like that. All right, let's take it up a notch. All right. Okay, this I'm taking it a little bit higher. Okay, here's an RPG. Now, I see it's obviously loaded. And this thing has a weird way of gripping onto it. It has a way like this and this. It does not have a safety, however. So, actually, it probably does, but not that I know of. Anyways, let's fire this thing. As you can see, it's gone. This, this type of weapon, you do not need to cock back. You just insert another rocket in. And it's ready to go. Now it's time for my favorite, the flashbangs. There are two flashbangs in the game, depending on which team you're on. We all know the generic flashbang, this. So you see, it's uh, even though I took it out, it hasn't activated. It hasn't armed itself yet. So if I drop it, that's when it's armed. I probably shouldn't have been looking at it. Actually, the. This one does the same thing, but you can throw it, look away, and it doesn't blind you. And here we have an LMG, which is a very high caliber weapon. Shoots I don't know, rounds per probably second, and every time it shoots, it gets even faster. It gets it shoots even faster, and the recoil on this thing is insane. So to reload this, you have to pull it up take this part out and put another one in put the bullets up and shut it and you have to cock it back every time doesn't matter if you run through the entire thing you have to cock it back uh, every time you reload it so it's pretty much a pain all right now the next one is a sniper rifle this one is the most high caliber sniper rifle in the game because it's only it's only one shot in here so, so I just fire it, and it's super loud, uh, but actually, if you're firing these in real life, you would might want to wear earplugs, because these things are super loud. Incl actually, just a normal pistol is loud, but yeah. So you can reload it like how I'm doing it. Like, you have to turn it and use your left hand, and then you insert another one in. Or, or, if, or some people could go like this. They could hold it. Go like this, grab another one, put it in, and then close it. But in this game, for me, it's a little bit difficult to do that. So I recommend, like if you're playing the game, you go like this. And this is, pa if you guys don't know, this game is Pavlov, it's for free, and it's pretty much super fun. Oh, and don't shoot this one-handed, or else it'll just fall. Okay, another one that has like a, a unique way of reloading is the AK-47. Actually, this is one of them that has a unique way of reloading. You could just take it out, flick it off, and then put the other round in. And you don't... Actually, I should have explain, uh, explain this. Every time it has... You don't fire the last bullet yet, and you put another round in, you don't cock it back, because there's already a bullet in there. So you're just fine to shoot, take out uh, the ammo, put another magazine in, and you don't cock it back, and then you just continue firing. 
But if you use the last bullet, you have to take it out, put another one in, and cock it back. Which is a longer process than uh, not firing all of them. Alright, next is the frag grenade. The frag grenade is a, ba a basic kind of uh, throwable. So, you can see the pin, pull it out. Hasn't activated yet because the lever is still down. It'll ignite if I let go. It's the same as the, the flash thing. So, like that, throw it. Was that too close? Yes, it was. The next is a customized pistol. This pistol is uh, semi-auto, which means, semi if for those of you who don't know, semi-auto means it shoots one bullet at a time. See? Like that. Full auto means it'll continue firing until you let go of the trigger. It does have an option on uh, on full auto ones. Uh, it'll have an op you could actually turn the side and you could have the option to put it semi-auto, uh, burst if it has that option, or full auto, or safe. It really depends on the type of gun you're using. But yeah, this one is just one that I like to use sometimes. Yeah, just, a just one of the basic attachment pistols, which is just all the attachments on one pistol. Now I have these guns. Like I just explained last time, there's a semi-auto, full auto, and burst. Semi-auto one bursts about like three shots maybe, and full auto means it continues firing until you let go. So this is a full auto. As you can see, it just continues firing until I let go of the trigger. Now this thing is a burst. There is an option that you can change it to semi-auto, so it can only shoot one now. But yeah, that's basically all I that's basically all about this weapon. Useless. And there's also some high caliber weapons. Like this one. It's a sidearm and it it's powerful. A double barrel shotgun. And whatever you do with the gun, remember this. With the gun, never point it at your face. So that was Gun Tutorial with Sam 101. Tune in next time.